All right. I found this article the other month. It says, this open source AI tool quickly isolates the vocals in any song. Well, I thought that sounds interesting. So here on TheVerge.com, this article going to read down is this experimental program by company uh, Deezer. If I go click their GitHub page, um, Spleter is this program. And here this algorithm will do as it says, um, isolate the vocals and remove them from the original mixed audio file, separate them then from the other instrument or accompaniment sounds. So I've been doing some tests and it works pretty well. So I just want to do a brief demo to show how I do this. Now on this GitHub page for them are some download files and some other instructions. Um, I had a little difficulty on this page getting it to work um, but alternately I found another source that was helpful where you can also use this algorithm to separate vocals from the accompaniment. So uh, two pages or two links in order to do so. One, you need to create a website to house the audio files that you want to utilize. Um, in other words, it needs to be a location that is online where you can copy and paste a web link uh, audio file into a, uh, a separate page. So create a GitHub website. You can do so for free. And here is my page here, Roach Seth Cloud Runner. So uh, on my page, I've just got some audio files uploaded that I've been experimenting with for this program. We'll get to that soon. And the second link that you'll need is this one here. I'll put links in the description below uh, for reference. Um, and this second page, though I'll explain it later, it will execute each command to separate the audio content from that original mixed file. Um, lastly, before I get started, um, I, I found out about this method from this uh, video. Um, this video is great. You can probably just use it for reference rather than mine. Um, however, the person that used it used a Russian website to um, house those audio files. And I don't speak Russian. So I thought I'd use GitHub instead. Let's get started. First, you need to upload an audio file to GitHub. To do so, here on your main page, which should be for GitHub, locate Upload Files. So click here, Upload Files. All right, so here you can drag it or choose it. Um, I guess I'll drag it. Let's go to my music. This is a song called It's About the Cross by the Ball Brothers. So I'm going to click, drag, upload kind of quickly. All right, and to complete that upload, you need to commit changes. So click commit changes. It'll process that. Once that's complete, look for that file on the list. I just called it cross. And once you've located it, uploaded onto GitHub, click the file. And then scroll down to where it says View Raw. So I'm going to click View Raw. And that will go to the particular location it should be. Look then on the web address bar. Click it. Um, it automatically selected all. You will need to select all. Copy that. Uh, Control C or Command C for your Mac users. And that link is on your clipboard. Done with GitHub. So next, go to that other website to execute these commands. 
All right. These commands are in two categories. Install splitter and separate from command line. Now, uh, before we do anything with executing these commands, we need to paste that web link address here. So we're going to go to the second category, separate from command line, the first command. This web link here, this is a web link for GitHub, um, starts, you want to delete the content after exclamation W E uh, G E T, excuse me. Um, I'm going to select and uh, replace all that with the link I have. So paste, control V, and it's replaced it. That's what we want. Note the file name, cross.mp3. Next command, uh, replace audio example mp3 with your file. In my case, cross mp3. Um, then go to the fourth one down. Here again, it says audio example mp3. Replace it with yours here in cross.mp3. And then last, the last three commands, you'll choose what folder to save these new separated audio files into. Uh, I'm just going to call it cross. So change audio example for us here to cross. Uh, do the same for this one here. Cross. And here, cross. All right. We're ready to start these commands. So to do so, just see the brackets here. Run your cursor over it. Your mouse, it turns into a play button. So click it, and it'll execute that command. Run anyway. And you can click multiple commands same time all the others running and it should just automatically uh, begin the second command when the first command is complete I'll just let all three of these finish first I suppose nothing wrong with that While these are running, let's listen to briefly the original audio file. So we'll hear it, in other words, with vocals. And when all these commands are done, we'll hear it without vocals. So here we go. Here we go. Here's it's about the cross by the Paul Brothers. It's not just about the manger where the baby lay. It's not all about the angels who sing for him that day. It's not all about the shepherds on the bright and shining star. It's not all about the wise men who traveled from afar. It's about the cross, it's about my sin, it's about how Jesus came to be born once so that we could be born again. It's about the stone that was rolled away so that you and I could have real life someday. It's about the cross. sample of that. Uh, these commands are almost complete. Um, it has, I'll stop moving around, uploaded it to this page. Um, it's got a preview file of that original file. You can hear it from there. 
Um, and currently it's doing the separation command. So it's separating, it should be the vocal content from the accompaniment content, applying the main algorithm, I think. I don't know how this works. This is pretty advanced stuff. I'm not a coder kind of guy. All right, it has separated the files. And it has stopped commands. I don't know why that one's red. All right, I think it's complete. So, how do we hear these? Well, we can't really click these here. And that just runs the commands. To find and hear the files, you need to download them. Um, look here on the far left, a little uh, sideways V. Click that to open up new menus. Here we go. Click where it says files. All right. Now, click where it says output. Cross. There's our folder we created. There's our two files accompaniment and vocals so we could let's just start downloading um, I'm going to right click accompaniment and download so that will begin the download progress wheel and then we'll hear that to see how the program did save it here in my music folder. I'm going to click play. As we're playing, I'll save the vocal. Well, I'll save the vocal scene right now. It doesn't really matter. All right. Okay. So we've heard the original. Here it is with the compliment only. pretty good. So, yeah, it started with that piano introduction, but then we never heard the voice. It pulled the voice, and you could continue to hear the instruments after. Uh, pretty good. Um, similar results for the vocals. If I open that briefly, which there should be nothing at first. Let's just scoot forward. It's not all about the angels who sing for him that day. It's not all about the shepherds on the bright and shining sun. It's not. You get the idea. So, a uh, couple comments and closing thoughts. Um, the uh, 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 some different sounds you might have heard in the playback. Um. Um. Uh, oh little audio quality change. Um, now when you're removing audio content from a recording, 
uh, it's gonna uh, the new files are gonna sound a certain way. Um, remove the vocals. The vocals, the nature of that, are a certain frequency range, uh, amplitude qualities, um, and some of those frequency ranges, in other words, pitch and amplitude qualities, um, are going to be shared by other instruments in the accompaniment. So if you remove part of those frequencies and volume changes, then uh, you're going to probably remove those qualities from the other instruments a little bit as well. Um, so we're, we're hearing part of that removal of those qualities, I think. It seems to be what's, you know, some of those different changes. You'll hear it get a little quieter all of a sudden. There's your amplitude changes. And then you'll hear a little bit of changes to the uh, frequency also. So, um, but even so, the application to this is really great. More of a practice purpose or educational purpose kind of tool, I think, at this point, especially if you're um, learning to sing, learning to be a vocalist. You want to practice singing without the original vocals there. This can get you there. You can sing along with it then um, to test your chops. That's it's a great application toward that. Um, I'd be interested to see where this might go from here. And, yeah, so I'll continue to experiment with this. Uh, lastly, most lastly, um, then it is possible with this algorithm, my understanding is to separate the files into additional uh, instrument separations. So not just vocals and accompaniment, but vocals, and then also remove, say, drums in a separate file. Maybe remove also piano in a separate file. I've not tested this. I'm not quite sure how to go about this, um, but I believe this algorithm has some capability in that area too. So check this out uh, by Deezer, this program Spleter. The link's in the description below. Check it out.